<clears throat> we shall have to curtail our forays to the village. The trek is not enjoyable. S sorry. Snaking its way through a cascading slag heap as we come down from the mountain. And then the lack of commune amidst the population when we get there borders on a torpor. I like to feed primates and kick dogs with the most average of them. But it's no fun when they lay down and expect it. When they don't even sniff at your boot tips. When they stare dead-eyed into mirrored windows, refusing drinks and dances and shaky dice. We shall build a den on the top of our hill and invite you instead. You'll be able to gamble and drink and kill animals at will. And in the morning, when the crows with dark calls give you a reason to wake, you will want to go to the village again. This is called the Groundhog, and it's not what you think. Beneath our feet is the grass you crave. After 30 miles of blacktop, I turned off the road in a radio, didn't I? Here we are then by the river again, and the bridges and boats in the distance, and a breeze is coming in from this broad expanse due to the confluence or something. So why are you screaming at me now? Look at that instead. That animal over there, what is it? It's big. It might be a ground dog. I don't know though. I've never seen one before. They don't have them in England. Hush whilst I look. Hold on. I think it is. Where's my phone? Oh, please baby. I know you're upset, but what? There's a ground dog over there. Shush. Come on. Come with me. Don't be. I've never seen one before. What is it? Here, take my hand. No. Hold on. He's still there. Let me just... Okay, okay. I'll come back. I can get a picture with you screaming at me anyway. What's wrong? You want to be picked up? Here now, look. He's gone. <laughs> Our life is liquid. We drink up familiar roads in the rain, roads lined with half-abandoned mills. And while it is not yet light, these semi-shattered brick monsters loom over us, as they always have. The road looks slick with 6am drizzle, so we head through the ginnel to the grass of the canal bank and uncork a bottle and we celebrate the end of another shift. We watch the purple light start on any movement in the water. And even though I listen to Joe, yawn with the effort of advice, my last thought is that loss has no need for sleep. A blackbird sings, he's a loud one. Who else to wake and everything, proud and first and loudest? He's joined later by others of all colours, some that can't sing, like the gulls who try without a syrinx. And my first thought is of her, how we let us slip, but we are fluid and hard to hold on to, like a teardrop. It's too early now to have quality sleep, when there are songs to be sung. Before dawn, we are beneath a symphony again, and she always said, I hate music. <laughs>